One of the things that we've been doing during this week-long festival of social justice is beginning to try to grapple with what is social justice. Thinking that clarity of thinking around this term could lead to clarity of action and more focused action and, and better collective response. Not necessarily trying to come up with a single definition that all can ascribe to, but even grappling with the question, what is social justice? So here, since I've got the microphone, here's mine. <clears throat> if someone steals your wallet and that person is caught and the penalty is applied, that's individual justice, simple. Law is broken, violators are held accountable, justice is done. But it quickly becomes more complex when we talk about social justice. To me, the social in social justice refers to society where society is the offender. You may already know that there are more toxic waste dumps located next to poor neighborhoods than rich ones. And what that means is that poor children get to play in toxic waste dumps and rich children get spanking new interactive educational state-of-the-art playgrounds. And I call that injustice. And no particular individual is to blame. It's society that is the offender when all of us allow these inequities to continue. Another example. The legendary Paul Farmer, founder of Partners in Health, spoke in Mountains Beyond Mountains, <clears throat> written by Tracy Kidder. And when Kidder spoke at Brandeis a few years back, he read this section from the book about Farmer and an 11-year-old boy whom Farmer met in Haiti. He spoke about a, a young man named John, who was probably 11 or 12. He and his mother were all that remained of their immediate family. John's father and his three siblings had all died during the past few years, apparently of various ailments. When asked what he thought those had been, Farmer adapted, uh, mentioned that, he, that they died of Haiti. Haiti, he said, they died of Haiti. There are too many people that are dying of Haiti or Uganda or urban America where they don't have access to adequate nutrition, adequate health care, adequate education to provide for themselves and their families. Society is the offender and that's us. No one person is to blame and no one person can bring about a solution alone. We can only do it together and we can only do it by looking at and acting on a multiplicity of aspects of the problem of social injustice. Maybe you're drawn to work on one aspect of addressing injustice and your friend is drawn to another. Every person is needed. And that is the reason for this festival, to put the social in social justice, to work on making a more just society together as a society. The breadth of involvement in DICE Impact indicates a plethora of ways to contribute from a business ethics workshop to collective drumming, breaking down barriers between people, to creating a collective artistic definition of social justice. To tonight, learning about how to support former child soldiers in Uganda, there's a way for you to get involved. And we hope that you will see the ways that people from across campus have connected their work to social justice and think, I could do that. We hope each person attending any of the DICE Impact events will think of one more way, just one more way, that they can work towards a more just world. Skip the luxury of the overwhelmed feeling. Just start with where you are and what you're already doing and think about how to connect it with social justice. Join us. <laughs>